Hey y'all, hey, it's Heather with Velvet and Vines Design. How are ya? Come on in, I'm a little bit early. We're here for Craft Around the Clock. So if you're catching this on the replay, you can maybe fast forward about three to four minutes, unless you wanna say hi, hear all the highs. Um, but anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, we are going to make some attachments for an upcoming swag I'm going to do for Halloween. So. One's a really fun craft that my friend Lisa would choose Joy Crafts did. Um, she did like a really um, uh, nice piece. It was like a porch leaner uh, style, like uh, size. Um, we're gonna we're gonna bring that down to a miniature size, a more smaller size, and um, and then another one we're gonna make with a pool noodle. So how is everybody? Hey, hey! I'm gonna get us pulled up. We got about three minutes before Tracy gets us shared in. So what are y'all doing on this Tuesday night? Hi Patricia, hi Michelle, how are ya? What you doing? Um, yeah, so we're making something for an upcoming make. So we're gonna, you know, can't always be making all the florals and the wreaths, right? Hey Misty. But you know, we're gonna play with my favorite pool noodle. You know, and this also, by the way, if you um, have children, this is a really great, you know, when you just, get older and you can't catch them. I'm just saying. <laughs> Doesn't do too much damage. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Um, about five minutes ago, I had to go out there and bargain everybody to calm down. <laughs> calm down. Anybody else have a house that can be rowdy sometimes? Oh, okay. I'm gonna get you pulled up because you know what? I can't. I can't see anything because I'm blind as a bat. And I, I thought for sure if I was sitting down and I had the um, phone right there that I would, y'all, y'all, y'all. I am just a hot mess, hot mess. So, um, so what'd y'all do for dinner? Tell me all the things. I love to be nosy. I want to know what you're doing. Hey, Roxanne, what you doing? I can see your name. Hey, Cindy. I just texted your daughter today. I was trying to get up with her to see if she wanted to hang out. Um, I think she's only off on Thursday, so we'll see. Maybe we'll get together at night. We're, we're just like in 500 different directions. Anybody else feel like that? All right, I got us shared around a little bit there. Okay, this is like a whole, hi. Hi, Wanda. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in forever. I've been catching your little lives. I love that you come on and um, give like a nice word and show your pieces. How you been? I hope you're doing good. Church is good. Kids are good. Grandkids good. All the good stuff. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so we got like one more minute. Like I said, we're going to do one craft tonight that's going to be something that I learned from Lisa at Choose Joy Crafts, y'all. Um, she's, she's my friend. I just... I just love her. She has the best ideas, um, the best ideas. So she did this piece. So I'm going to pull up comments here now. All right. I got us all shared around. I think Miss Tracy's going to get us shared in here. And I think I can see you made a Southern chili and rice dish. Mm, I made pork chops, mashed potatoes, string beans, and croissants. That's what I did. And Garrett's making sugar cookies right now. Cause you know they gotta have dessert. Hi Tracy and Vicky, you're my green. Oh Misty, those suck. I never really got that until I, late you know now later in life, and they're miserable. So you made a chef salad that sounds delicious. Kid free, la la la. <laughs> I don't wanna say that though, cause I know when they leave, uh, cause I've had that. You know my oldest when he left, I used to always think, oh, 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 phew. You don't feel like that. You worry more. You worry more. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, steaks. Oh, Lonnie, that sounds amazing too. All right, y'all. We are right at time. So, all right. So, like I said, my friend Lisa, which used Joy Crafts, she, you know, y'all, she, she has the best ideas, comes up with the best stuff. So, a couple weeks ago, she was doing a Halloween series, and on one of her nights, she used a really large stick, if you remember, and used raffia to make a large um, witch's broom. So we're gonna take that down a little bit to a size that I can use in a swag. So I have this vision for a Halloween swag that includes a witch, her broom. I just got this lantern in today. So this is gonna go in the swag. Isn't that the coolest thing? 
and um, I'm, she's gonna have a cauldron, and I want candy kind of like falling out of the cauldron. So that's kind of the premise of the swag. So we have two things to make tonight. The broom, thanks to Lisa, which used Joy Crafts. So this is just a stick out of my yard. I just broke it down. I love that the end of it looked like that. <laughs> so I just like snapped it, made it a little bit smaller, and I spray painted it black. That's all I've done. And then I have raffia. So I have it here. And what we're gonna do is, uh, is exactly what Miss Lisa taught us all. Um, she, uh, so if you're not following her, please do, because this is her idea. This is not my idea. I am just simply copying it to make something for my swag. So, hey, Cynthia, hey, hey. It's good to see, hey, Darlia, thanks. Hey, girl, oh, good to see, oh, hey, Kara. What are you doing? Happy birthday, y'all tell, everybody tell Kara of the Craft Junkie, happy birthday. She just had a birthday a couple days ago, right? So, hey, Pam, oh, I love Lisa, y'all, like I said, choose Joy Crafts. I'm going to tag her when I do the finished picture. If you're not following her, you really should. But anyway, she she showed us how to take the raffia and make these little tufts. We're going to make some more of these. And I used a zip tie. I can't remember what Lisa used, but basically you bind the end, right? All you do is fold it in half. We're going to do it together. And then we're going to glue them around, and it's going to make a witch's broom. Okay, so that's going to be the first craft. So let's do that. Then we'll get into the pull noodle. So I made two of them. Hey. Patricia I made two of them ahead of time so all I did was just take my raffia out and then like I just grab a handful this is so easy y'all like I'm telling you easy peasy little messy right and then I just folded it in half made a little tuft I had these little I have these black zip ties and you're not gonna see the zip ties when we're done so it doesn't even matter what you use you can use wire pipe cleaners uh, whatever your heart's desire that will bind it together but basically you just want this little tuft at the top, right? And then I just kind of like hold it up. Hey, Barbara. Yeah, tell her happy birthday. Kara, such a sweet thing. Love her. And then I, um, I kind of do like what my hairdresser does, right? Like she doesn't ever cut on a straight angle. She kind of, you know, so I don't want it to be like a blunt cut. So that's kind of how I, right? And so... This is what we're making. So I'm going to make, let's see, maybe like two more. And it's that simple. And then we'll do the next step. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Lori. I think you were there that night that Lisa made these. So I'm making a witch's broom. For those of you that just came in, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. So we are making two props tonight that I'm using in a future Halloween swag. Future as in like next week. I got to make it next week. <laughs> Um, and so this swag, I want um, like a witch on a witch's broom. So we're hand making the witch's broom, thanks to my friend Lisa at Choose Joy Crafts. As soon as she, I had this vision of the the witch, and because I bought this lantern, so there's the witch's lantern behind me. So this is gonna go in it. And when she made this um, craft about two weeks ago, I think it was, I was like, oh my god, that's the that's the thing. That's what I need is the broom. So um, I was like, right away, I knew what I was gonna, what I was gonna use it from. So she made a really large, or not a really large, but a larger version that like you could like prop up against your door. It's so stinking cute, right? You go decorate for Halloween, and you want like a witch's broom, like you know, a witch lives there. So cute. But we're gonna downsize it a little bit for a swag, and then we're also gonna make some candy out of a pool noodle. <laughs> so that's that's the night. Hey Jennifer. Hey, Carol, how you doing? How is everybody? The witch is, yeah, so um, I see the swag. It's like, now the witch isn't, it's not cutesy. So I don't, you know, it's, it's not spooky, but she's not cutesy. She's an ugly old witch. I've already got the face. I'm making her too, but I'm not going to do that on a live. Um, so um, she's kind of like an ugly an ugly old witch but I have a cape and a hat that matches that I'll put on her I have like the creepy hands and I see her like sitting on the broom that we're making and um, she's got like a cauldron in her hand and the cauldrons dumping out all these little candies kind of down the swag so I see her kind of sitting at the top and then this cauldron dumping candy down the rest of the swag so we'll see if it comes together so this is what we're making so there's the vision you literally collect what do you really? Well, that's awesome. I mean, I, you know, I think 
think I think that's awesome. <laughs> I like it when anybody loves anything enough to collect. You know, whatever it is. I'm not a big um, collector. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I've really like collected, collected. Other than like seashells and things like that, no. I'm gonna go in and get a new batch of raffia because this is kind of rough. What's killing you? What? What? What's killing you? What did I? Hi, Mary. How you doing, lady? How you enjoying this heat? Yeah. Hey, Lori. I see you. You collect clothes. Oh. <laughs> You, oh yeah, I did, well, I used to collect shoes and now that's become ribbon, but um, I know I'm in a group of people that will not be judging me for that, right, right. So, you collect calories, yes! Um, you're my girl. I just had a honey bun, so, or a cinnamon roll, sorry, cinnamon roll earlier today. That was my lunch, y'all. I do uh, Weight Watchers, really just to kind of know how much I, <laughs> how bad I am. No, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I, I do really well, but I'm telling you, you all, there are times where I make bargains like, do I want a meal or do I want a brownie? I want the brownie and I take the brownie. That's terrible, isn't it? It's terrible. Shouldn't do that. We all know it should be the meal. Okay. So we've got a couple of these made. Let's go in and make sure, see if this is enough. All right, so again, we are making a witch's broom. Whoops. Sorry, this fell. I bet that was loud because it's right in your ear. We're going to put this down here. Ooh, okay, all righty. All right, I'm going to point the camera down now so you can see more down here. Okay? All right. Hey, Laura, how are you doing? Brownie, hands down. Like, right? Am I right? Yeah. Now, um, like I said, we, you know, I, I told you all how we, uh, we went to the, the dentist recently and he kind of gave us this whole lecture about soda and I had given up diet soda a couple of weeks before we went. So I've been on this, I've been on a water kick. I feel like that deserves rewards. So all we're doing is just hot gluing this here and we're going to wrap this with this on the end to kind of finish it off. So this does not even matter all about the brownie. Absolutely. When you do Weight Watchers, you used to save your points for a dog. Eh, uh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> yes. You're making choices. Well, you know what I learned is that a, a vodka with a, um, just like the soda water and lime is hardly like any points. You just, you know, for a friend. If you need, if you need that, you got to stay away from this stuff with all the syrups. <laughs> And then my, my, my friend, uh, Tanya, my, my friend from Fargo that I always talk about that. It's just my best friend. She, uh, would always get that Eddie's sweet tea vodka or something. She swore by that. And she was real big about low sugar drinks. So, Hey, Susan, everyone. That was many years ago. You gave up the baby several years ago. I, um, I used to really enjoy like a nice fruity beverage. I'm not going to lie to you until I, I got I had my gallbladder. I had my gallbladder out like on my birthday two years ago. And ever since then, um, I don't feel right when I drink any kind of alcohol. Just even one drink, I don't feel right. It feels strange. So I just don't. I'm fun anyway. <laughs> I don't need it. I mean, you know, I don't need it. So then the next day I don't feel so bad. Yeah, I'm a goofball. I do not need alcohol to be a goober. I got that covered. Totally got that covered. So, Deep Eddie, that's, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did I say it was like a Eddie? Yeah, that's my girl, Tanya. Short. And we're not really drinkers like that, but you know, we don't see each other all the time. She'd be like, let's get shorts. Can we get a short? Which really for her is a shooter because they're always loaded with sugar. But anyway. I miss her. All right. Do they make a brownie flavor? Oh, they must make a brownie flavor. I agree, Darlia. I think you're onto something. We could be like crafters and 
what do they call them? Like curators or something. <laughs> like coming up with all the liquor brands. We would know what would sell. You have the brownie mix out, Dennis. <laughs> I love it. Dang it. Y'all listen. I'm sorry. If I just broke anybody's um, diet, I apologize. I apologize. I have been known to be a bad influence. I'm so sorry. Oh, my coffee is getting the glue strings. Hi, Kim from Connecticut. How are you? So for those of you that are new to me, my name is Heather with Velvet and Vines Design. How are you? I live in Maryland, right on the coast near Virginia, and we are making a handmade witch's brew. So let me catch everybody up that's just hopped in. So this is a stick from my yard. So first and foremost, let me tell you, this craft came from my friend Lisa of Choose Joy Crafts. Choose Joy Crafts. I'm gonna tag her in the finished picture. She is just adorable um, and she is super creative. So she showed us how to make this and it was more like a larger size for like a porch, you know, leaning on your porch and like near your door or whatever. But I have been planning this witch's um, swag in my head for a, lo a long time. And when I saw her make this, I was like, oh, I gotta do a miniature version for my swag. So that's what we're doing. So this is a stick from my yard. This is 100% her idea. Stick from my yard, some raffia. We just ball it up, use a little zip tie like this to make a little tuft. I made like six tufts. We hot glued it on the end. And now we're gonna go in with some twine. Okay, so that is one prop that we're going to make. All right. Hi, Pat. There is a chocolate. I don't Roxanne would know that. <coughs> there is a chocolate va flavor vodka. You're right. Because, oh, wait, they use it in like the espresso martinis, don't they? Don't they use that? Hey, Sherelle, you came in right in time. We're talking about drinks. All right, so now we're just gonna wrap this with some twine, oops. And then it's gonna hide all these mechanics. So this is gonna be the fun part. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this. I'm not a left-handed cutter, sorry. <laughs> I tried, but I couldn't. I do a lot of things with my left hand. I bat, I golf, I carry my purse, but I can't cut. And I think we talked about this before, I'm pretty sure that I am a right-handed bow maker. All right, so all I'm doing is taking this twine and going around, I'm sorry if I was going off camera. And we're just finishing off. The end of the broom. So remember I said don't worry about all the mechanics. That's why. I'm going to use a, another piece of twine though. But let me at least get this one glued down. Try not to glue me trying not to glue me y'all you just looked in the fridge and you have a mexican mudslide that sounds amazing how did we get into all the alcohol talk <laughs> i promise this is just coffee just coffee with french vanilla creamer promise promise uh. all right just a little bit more, just to kind of go up a little bit further, and then I think we're good. And then you'll see the little witch's broom. Gotta thank Lisa for this craft. And look, that whole week, that whole series, she did um, she did a top hat, and she used, and, and listen, I've made a top hat out of like a sour cream tub. I've seen people make them out of various things. But Lisa used a cup. From the Dollar Tree. It was perfect. Like a, like a drinking cup, like a cup you would buy, you know, for your kitchen. So anyway, great series. Check it out. But this is where I got that idea from. So I just want to 
I want to make sure you know where the craft or where it originated from, right? Hey, Karen. How you doing, lady? Your husband made some fireball with blue Gatorade. I know, I know. It doesn't sound good, but it what, actually... So my husband likes fireball. My husband likes fireball. I'm going to tell you what. I've had fireball come back out, up too many times the other way. No, 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 no. I don't want no fireball. But y'all can have it. See, that's the how I am. Y'all can have it. I don't have to have the same kind of drink, right? No, I am not into the fireball. But maybe, maybe I would with Gatorade. See, I'm thinking a straight... Ugh, ugh, ugh. Honestly, straight liquor anything sounds ugh, right now. But um, mixed, like all day, all day long, I could do that. I just don't feel good when I drink it. All right, y'all. So we are about to have the first craft finis. All right, I didn't bring my little hot glue finger protectors, so I want to be careful how I... All right, so look. A stick from my yard that I spray painted black. Now, I'm going to decide when I get my swag. I might um, I might get my husband to use a saw and cut this down a little bit more and, and paint the end because now that, you know, I've had it. But I didn't know, you know, but I might want to cut down just a little bit more. But this is my witch's broom. And it's very, like, rustic. I wanted it that way. Like, I don't want it to look... So there you go, stick from my yard, spray painted black, raffia, some zip ties, and some twine, y'all. That's it. That's it. So that's project number one for my witch's swag. Okay, so the project number two is going to be using pool noodles. Y'all know I love a pool noodle. And um, some felt. Well, actually, I think they called it like a, a velvet or velour or something. I cannot promise you where I got this because... I'll pick up stuff like this if I see it on sale. It could have been a five below. It could have been, honestly, I've seen stuff like this in like the kids section, like Target. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But it was on sale. It was just like a pack and it feels like velvet, right? It's a really soft, it's not felt, but it feels more like a velvet. So we are going to use this pool noodle and these pieces of felt to make various color candy. Um, so again, for those of you that have just joined in, hi, I'm Heather with Velvet Vines Design. Hey, Tracy. How is everybody? Um, hey, Janie, how are you? What are you doing? How are you doing, girl? How are you holding up in Ocean City right now with all of the, uh, is it really busy? You know what I mean? So now, um, so let me, sorry, let me back up. Squirrel. Let me tell you the vision so you understand what we're making. So we made the broom for the witch on the swag. I have um, a witch's um, face, and then I have a cloak and a, and a hat that I'll make for her. She will be holding a cauldron. She, so I got like the creepy hands to use, and she'll be holding a cauldron that I want it to look like it's falling and it's dumping out these candies. So we are just making, just picture like, you know, I mean, we're not making anything that's copyrighted because I don't do that. So just think something like the size of like a Tootsie Roll, right? Like that's what we're doing. It's wrapped candies. That's all we're making. And we're using pool noodle as the pieces to make it round. And then I'm just going to cover it with felt. And then I've got a couple of ribbons and things here that maybe I could tie it off on the end. Or maybe I won't. And I'll just use zip ties. I don't really know. We'll see. We'll put it on there and see what I think. So... You're already in your PJs and relaxing. Of course, if I, look, if I, if you couldn't see my lap, I would totally be business on the top and PJ on the bottom right now. Totally. <laughs> like, absolutely. Um, it's too, it's too late for that. You gotta be, um, nice at, you know, relaxed. Okay. All right, so I'm going to pick out a couple of colors. I know that, so I, her um, cloak and her hat are purple. I don't want contrasting purple, and I don't have it right here to compare. So I'm going to leave purple out, right? Because what if it's like, whoa, purple? 
I do like this with um, the purple and the oranges and stuff, and I know that I won't have any other shades of this, so I'm gonna use this color. So I'm just kind of walking you through why I'm using the colors that I'm gonna use. Um, I don't wanna use black because that's probably gonna be a ton of my accents. So let's use some green, because I won't have that kind of green. And then let's use some pink, okay? So let's start with that. So do any of you uh, decorate for Halloween? I'm gonna tell you, I used to not. Um, I was not really big into it. And then we moved into a neighborhood when, um, all, you know, when my, my oldest still lived at home and all of that. I'm just using hot glue. Um, and it, and this neighborhood, uh, people would taxi, taxi in to trick or treat in our neighborhood. Like uh, one of the, one of our neighbors was a retired Tasty Cake driver, and he gave out full size Tasty Cakes, like full, like big, nice Tasty Cakes. Like everybody loved his house. So anyway, that kind of sparked something. And then, um, believe it or not, about my youngest crew, who we talked about. Um, he is on the spectrum and you would think he would hate Halloween. No, it's absolutely one of his favorite holidays next to Christmas, of course, because he gets gifts. <laughs> so, um, so he loves it. He loves dressing up. He loves going trick or treating. Now he'll only last about three or four houses. He's the perfect child to take trick or treating because he's done. He's way peopled out by then. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm done. But he enjoys it. He really does enjoy it. So I've started to decorate for it the last couple of years where I used to not. You just posted some crafts you did in Nadia's. Well, I'm going to check it out when I get off of here. Oh, there's Lisa. Lisa, are you still on here? Look, I um, copied your witch's broom. So Lisa in the comments, Lisa Atkinson is the one with Choose Joy Crafts You All that I said made that whole idea came from for the witch's broom. So um, that's who you follow. Lisa, if you come back on on your business page, girlfriend, you'll make it so much easier on everybody to follow you. Because I've already talked you up. <laughs> so. Uh, there is a neighborhood in our small town where everyone goes to trick or treat and the rest of us just donate candy. Oh. Well, I will say my mother-in-law, um, sh she would always come over and, and my dad too, actually, I forgot about that. They would always come over with bags of candy because I am not kidding you. We lived in that neighborhood for four or five years and there were, hol now, um, yeah, there were Halloweens that we probably collectively spent around probably $400 on candy. I'm not kidding you. That, that many trick-or-treaters it was crazy and and there was one year there was one year we weren't that prepared for it and poor Garrett God bless his heart I love him so much he had gone trick-or-treating and he was you know he was older so he, he went to a ton of houses had a big old bag of candy and kids even when we turned the lights off you know it was supposed to be over with kids kept coming and coming and coming I'm talking with pillowcases y'all pillowcases and that child ended up giving out every single piece of candy that he collected because we had so many people come to the house after we ran out of candy. So, of course, you know, I took him out the next day, right? And bought all of that half price Halloween candy for him. I was so proud of him. I never asked him to do it. He was like, it's all right, mama. I'll just give out my candy. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Aw. All right. So. This is what we've got. So one end of a candy. Let's do the other end. Ah! And I know, right? A child's always, he's always been that way. Really, really sweet. Like I'd never have to tell him. He, I would be checking out at the grocery store or something. And all of a sudden he wouldn't be by my side and I would look and it was, it would be like an older lady or something. He would walk over. Do you need help with your groceries? I'm like, oh. <laughs> like make my heart swell. Would you? Now look, my oldest though. See Garrett would, <laughs> Garrett will knock himself over to hold the door open for other people. Taylor, Taylor would shut it right. You think, 
mean, he's a really good, I don't mean that he's not a bad, I mean, he's not bad. What I mean is like just different, different thought, right? Like Garrett is very much like empathetic, thinks about other people, a little bit to a fault. Taylor's very much like, oh. <laughs> I don't need to do that. So here we go. Just very simple. Now I'm going to put some black and white um, ribbon on it. So again, the vision here is witch on a broom, right? Her creepy hand's going to be holding this cauldron and it's going to be dumping out all this candy kind of down the swag in all these different colors. So that's kind of where we're going with it. If you're like, what are you doing? Hey, candy. Look, see? So Lisa would choose Joy Crack and Candy knows that. Remember her big broom? I made a miniature version. I'm going to use it in my witch's swag I've been planning. So... So excited. What are you doing, lady? Candy was there that night that she made it. And then we're making candies. Candy, I'm making candy. <laughs> candy girl. Oh, my husband is watching. Hey, say hi to my husband. You see, can you all see Bobby Williams is watching? Say hi to him. Uh, yes, make one. So um, the vision here is, and everybody that's been on here has heard it, right? So I have a, like a old creepy witch's, witch, a witch lady. She's got like a purple hat and a purple cape, kind of creepy hands, and she's going to be holding a cauldron that's going to be dumping out little candies down the swag, and then this lantern is going to be on there too. Oops, sorry. So this lantern, it's like a witch's lantern. So I've been collecting pieces for it. And then, um, ooh, and then when Lisa did that, that broom, I was like, oh, that's the finishing thing. So these are the candies we're using, just pool noodle, y'all, and just pieces of velvet. So I chose different colors that are not gonna be in my swag. It's mostly going to be like black, white, purple. Um, I'm trying to think, some gray, things like that. I was trying to look at my flowers. So, hey, Jamie. Hey, Carla. What are you doing, girl? And Lori said, hey, Heather's husband. Look, he knows you, Lori, because uh, you, you know, when you're, he's my admin on my page. So when you message me, he'll say, Lori's messaging you. <laughs> so he keeps asking me. Now, you all that have Facebook pages know that you have to have someone that's an admin that you trust, right? That's on there, too, just in case something happens, you ever get hacked. Whoops this slipped. Um, so my husband is mine, right? But that also means that his Facebook gets like all the notifications. So he's always like, oh my word, all the notifications. I'm like, sorry. And Facebook's whack, man. People get hacked all the time. It's crazy. I don't want to do all this work and get hacked, right? Does anybody else feel that way? Like it breaks my heart when I see that happen to another creator and they have to start all over from the beginning. Oh. So a little candy piece. And that's that. And that's all we're doing, just a simple little craft. So. Your husband gets all the notifications too. Does he get upset? Yeah. The famous life of Ross Rumpa. Cindy. <laughs> the famous Nick. Now look, they already teased me. They already teased me real bad about all of that. Like, um, there was the uh, vintage and thrifted event that we were in. And there was like one of the graphics that says... It was something like 20, 20 some creators or something. And so they always, him and Garrett are always harping on me saying, it's the top 27, it's the top 27 right here. And Bobby will follow me in Walmart and yell that behind me. It's the top 27, y'all. It's the top 27. I'm like, if you don't stop, he thinks it's funny and it's funny, I guess, but. You have only the Christelle bows. Oh, no other embellishments or wreath attachments. You don't have the patience. Um, so I, I bought my, Chris, I'm not, I don't have the patience for that. I bought my Christelle bow from Nadia. 
<laughs> I love it and I wanted it, but I bought it. So I have it right over there and I need to use that. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, they love to get, they love to embarrass me. They just love it. He does it anyway. Like he'll, he's got his Michael Jackson moves and stuff. He'll wait for a song to come on. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest little stinking piece of candy? All right, we're going to make another one. He'll wait for like a song or something to come on. And he'll just like start singing it really loud. And he'll be like, are you embarrassed? I'm like, no, I'm not embarrassed. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have fun, I guess, right? It's fine. I am definitely the butt of the jokes, though. Until Taylor comes around. And then sometimes him and I can turn it around on them. It just depends, right? It's all in how, you know, <laughs> hey, Taylor, how are you? And um, you just bought your daughter her car for her 16th birthday. That is so awesome. I bet that she was so excited. Her face. That is such a monumental thing. We just got a car for our middle son, Garrett. He just got his license in a car. And it's so weird, y'all. Him, like, going somewhere without us. It's weird. Oh, did I cut that short? Dag on if I, did I? Hold on. I think I might be able to salvage. Hold on. I just want to not burn myself. Okay, I fixed it. And it's all right because I can just make that the back. Like it'll go into my swag. That's the other reason why I wanted to use a pool noodle for my swag attachments. Oops. Is because um I can use these to stick them in so I don't have to just depend on hot glue so I fixed it it wasn't a total waste yes it's pool noodle so this is this is the pool noodle right so I just cut it up in some pieces and we're just making candies that I'm gonna use in a future Halloween swag so I'll catch everybody up if anybody um, hey Roxana careful Oh, with the hot glue. Yeah, I know, right? I waited until it cooled off, so it wasn't really hot, hot. And I've got my um, temp down since I, uh, since I was working with pool noodles. Um, I'm going to go right in with the ribbon this time, y'all, instead of using a, um, a zip tie, because that worked out pretty well. You felt pieces at Michael's. And, oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. I can't remember where I got these. I'm going to be honest with you. I've had them for a long time. And that tells me that I probably saw them in like a clearance bin or something like that. I was like, ooh. Um, and then I was looking for fabric. And to be honest, I was thinking like Harlequin and all of that. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, no, that's perfect because I'm going to use Harlequin in my ribbon and all of that. And then these candies can be solid. So it was perfect. So I can't tell you where I got them. I really can't. But um, it's probably going to be like I'm trying to envision where I would find something like this. Like I could see myself finding it in like the Target kids art section. I go in that section a lot for crew. Um, five below. Um, because I can't see myself. Like I don't typically in Hobby Lobby, I don't go and shop. Um, and, and the area that sells this kind of stuff. Like, I have to be there to look for something. So, super cute. Um, so, I don't think it was like a Hobby Lobby. Um, but, it, like, yeah, like like Pat said, there's got to be somewhere comparable, something comparable that you can use. And it doesn't even have to be, like, this velvety. It can be, um, you know, cotton. It could be bandana. It could be, I mean, like, you could just go and do whatever whatever you want. I would just, the only word of advice I would give, and I'm not a business coach, but the only word of advice I would give is just stay away from copyright. So don't, don't try to have it look like something, um, that has a copyright, but that's just, that's my personal opinion or well, my personal advice. I'll say it like that. 
Fabric, yeah. Oh, or like, um, I mean, oh, sorry. You could use like old scrap clothes, you know, old t-shirts, or you really could use anything. It doesn't have to be fabric that you intentionally buy. Now I am gonna sell my piece. I am really struggling with this one. I'm gonna sell my piece. Hold on, let me push it down. There we go. So, you know, I try not to, anything that I'm gonna make for myself, I don't mind using recycled things, but if I'm selling it, I like to use new. It's just my personal preference on like what I'm selling, right? So. This one's being a booger, but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna win, y'all. I'm gonna win. It's just a matter of working it. <laughs> I'm gonna win. If I pull it too much without letting, without, or without holding the top, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Phew! This is making me sweaty. It's not the heavy sweater. It's the candy. There we go. All right, we got it. Going for a ride on the struggle, but yes, I was. I was, but I was determined to win, and I did. <laughs> all right, I like to put a little, like, all right, so there we go. Candy, number one and number two. So it's going to be cute. All right, let's make it in the blue, because we've got about seven minutes left, and then we're done. Um, the next crafter will be coming on right after me. So if you're in Craft Around the Clock, all you have to do is stay in the group and refresh the page. If you're not, y'all, definitely um, follow. It's in my feature links. Um, it's also tagged in my um, live here. But Craft Around the Clock is fantabulous. It's a free group, so you don't have to pay anything. And they have Monday through Friday, nonstop live crafting, DIYing, painting, like you name it, they've got it. And then there's these fun little things that they do as well, or we do, right? Um, where we do like uh, cooking, um, so the crafty cook. Um, there'll be, you know, all kinds of little things where they work with recyclables. They've done things where they've worked with um, cardboard, so they'll do like theme days. So it's just kind of cool and fun. And then on the weekends, they share a lot of events into the group, a lot of live events just to help, right? Help get eyes. So, you know, check it out. It's free and it's a bunch of light minded people um, with a lot of ideas, all kinds of seasons, all kinds of things. Um, for those of you that are um, maybe into or wanting to get into decoupaging, a couple of my wreathing friends have been asking about that. And this is a fantastic group to follow because a lot of the makers in here um, not only decoupage themselves, but some of them sell those really unique rice papers and things. So it's a fantastic group to be a part of. So I encourage you to check it out. Hey, Jeanette. See, there's a fellow craft around the clock lady. What you doing? Any more info on the new Etsy bidding? You messaged me about, oh no, it won't let me look at it. Anybody else heard about that? Anybody else here sell on Etsy? So they sent out an email and it said that you can, oh wait, Lori, you and I were chitty chatting about that. Lori said that um, like somebody made a bid on one of her listings and she was like, no, no, no. <laughs> so I don't know how it happens. No, I haven't, Carla. I will check that out though. We should probably put that in like maybe um, one of the q and Isn't there a QA and a coming up? I think there's a QA and a coming up in Candy's group. Maybe we could put it in there. I think um, Lauren does a, does Lauren do critiques this week? She would be a good one to ask. For sure. Yeah, y'all, Etsy, it, like we all think that Facebook is a bugaboo, y'all. It's like a necessary evil, you need it, but it wants to act up on you and then, you know, it just, it makes you feel like you're at their mercy. It's the same with Etsy, it's like, you think you got everything all figured out and then bam, they'll change something and you're like, what? What do you mean you don't want a short tail keyword anymore and you want long tail keywords? Let me go retype every 
title I have said no person ever. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Sorry, that came from the heart right there. <laughs> so, how cute is that? All right, our last one, four more minutes. It should be an option that you set up. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I did, In the email, it gave you a link that you could, it was supposed to take you to like a section to explain it and it didn't. So then I ended up um, Googling it and then I probably squirreled and did something else. I don't know. So, hey, Cindy, what you doing, lady? What you doing? So my friends that I've talked about my mulch about, just got to give you a proud moment here in my last three minutes. So I did all the mulch. And um, <laughs> I went and got another load. <laughs> so Bobby still doesn't have a strike back. Okay, y'all, that's all I just wanted to say. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so finally get his truck uh, emptied with the mulch. And then I, I was like, oh, well, you know, it's been a week. Well, it's been a longer than a week. So, you know, we go to the landfill. We take our dump to the landfill. We don't have a trash company that comes and picks it up. I told you all we live in Podunk. So going to the dump's fun. I love going to the dump. So I was like, well, hey, we got all this trash. Let me, let me keep the truck today. I'll go to the dump. I went to the dump and then I just kept right on going to the mulch place and got another load <laughs> to finish the other side of the house. He came home today. He was like, is that, is that more mulch in my truck? I'm like, hey, wait, oh, <laughs> ah, my friends, my friends, but then I'll be done, done. You know what I mean? Won't that feel so good? It will feel so good. And it looks so good. And I did it with like the weed tart down so I don't have to weed again. I mean, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, right? So ideal. Looks so good. My back hurts. My hamstrings feels like you could pluck them like a guitar string, but you know, so, has anyone heard of Michael's Market? Oh, what's that? It's new. It's selling. You do live. No, I did not hear about that. How cool is that? They're coming out with all kinds of things. All right, y'all. This is our last piece of candy. So let me catch you up. We made attachments tonight for a Halloween swag that I'm going to be making in the very near future. It's going to have kind of a witch theme to it. This is going to be her lantern. It's going to be her lantern. We made from a stick in my yard from um, my friend Lisa with Choose Joy's Craft. She made this whole thing and showed us how to do it. But I did use a stick in my yard, spray painted it black, used some raffia on the end, and I made a handmade witch's broom. Then we took some pool noodle and some pieces of velvet that I had, kind of like a plush velvet. Um, you can use any kind of fabric at all and just some ribbon and we made little pieces of candies that are gonna be coming out of the swag. So we made a couple little homemade pieces for a future piece. So now we're at time, so the next crafter is on. So if you're in Crafter on the Clock, refresh your page and check them out. And then we just finished up a cute little craft. So. Y'all, probably sometime next week, we'll make this together. So that'll be fun. So thanks, y'all. It was really fun. Have a happy Tuesday. Make sure you check out The Next Crafter. Have a good time. All that good stuff. And you remember what I say? Stay kind. Thanks, y'all.